I'm Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for Saturday Afternoon Football. Perfect weather for football. Joined now by Gary Lyon. G'day, Hutto. Today should be a great match. For today's match, we have Geelong and Collingwood. They look ready and rearing, and the crowd are right behind them. The banners are ready for the players. We know the scoring capabilities of both teams, so it's all about the defence of both sides. If this turns into a shootout, it becomes about which team holds up better defensively. Geelong burst onto the ground and boy do they look ready. The fans should be in store for a big game today. I agree with you there, Hutto. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. Geelong kicking to the right of screen. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. Just waiting for the opening siren now. And here we go, it's Geelong taking on Collingwood. Intercepted by Davey. She can take off after that handball. Intercepted. Dargan just goes bang. Just gets a boot to it. Picking it up was Grant. O'Connor moves it by hand. McDonald hit the man hard. Hickey elects to kick. Gourlay gets in the way. Skinner gives it off. And now they go. Picks it up. Ball gets cut off. Dishes it off. That can link up now. Lost concentration for a moment. Gives away a free for in the back. Brown uses it by foot. Takes the mark. Chips it towards half forward. A big contested grab. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Strong mark in the contest. 30 metres from home. She likes her chances from here. Geelong supporters delighted by that effort. Celebrating hard. Rankin gets the ball rolling with the first goal of the game. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Boy just slaps it down. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Darby going for number one. Never really looked like going through. Geelong with a handy break. They lead Collingwood. Seven to nothing. Porter kicks it. It's a turnover. She's got the footy in her hands. The kick for Boyd. Rushes with the kick. Slasher keeps it moving, takes possession. Easily takes the mark. 40 metres out. It on. Roberts going for number one. A drop punt through the goals. She celebrates hard after that. That's the first goal for Collingwood. Won the hit out. She's got the football now. O'Day dismisses her opponent with disdain. McDonald will be upset with that. Oh, just hits the post. No margin to speak of now. Considering the options on the kick in. Winning the ball in the air was right. Slams it on the boot. Finds this one all by herself. 
Hickey moves it now. Marked by Kirk. Elected to play on with a driving kick. Great mark under pressure. Hickey sends one up towards the wing. Good body work to win the mark. Moves it by foot. The ball mopped up. Pushes through with power. Finds the loose ball. Racking up possessions now. Ivy takes the mark. Uncontested. A low stabbing kick. Scoops it up. Davey. Hurried kick. Intercepts the ball well. Kicks to the square. Gets into some space to mark this. Morrison puts it on the boot. Collects the loose ball. Moves it by foot. McDonald takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Picks up her first possession. Great tackling technique. She has the ball. Davey clinks up with a chance to run. Goes by foot. A great mark taken there. Sheridan has resources out wide. Keeps it moving. An eventful quarter. And it sees the scores level at the end of the first turn. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? A critical stage. The second term ready to get underway. We're back in the middle now. Swatson with the ball now. Awkwardly got the handball out. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. What a brilliant tackle. Big tackle. Good mark and looks to send it back. Goes with the kick. The ball spells to Hickey. Got boot to ball. A great mark taken there. Gourlay uses it by foot. Livingston off the deck. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Yeah, she's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Darcy has her first touch of the footy. O'Connor wants to keep it moving by hand. Ball hits the deck. Missed the target. Over the top of the pack. Moved on by Roberts. An easy grab for Dagen. A chance to put one through for her side. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Doing well to intercept that kick. Brown kicks it. It's a foot race to get this one. McDonald scoops it up. Looks up with the kick. They can create from this. Just got the hands in the back there. Slams it on the boot. Brown there to mop up. Darcy quickly onto the boot. Right, slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Giotti will be the recipient of the free. Putting this one through would give Collingwood plenty of confidence. 20 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Congratulated by your teammates. The margin is six. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Collingwood are converting their opportunities in front of goal. They're taking their chances, and that's why they find themselves in front. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Gets the loose ball. Boy releases it under pressure. The ball finds Cranston. No issues with that drop punt. They get around her after that effort. We're all tied up now. We're back in motion. Hines thumped it clear. Taylor sockers it forward. Davy squeezed the handball through. Intervening brilliantly was Ivy. Cranston brushed off easily. Dug out the loose ball. 
Roberts releases the ball. Opportunity for Malloy. Drop punt straight through the middle. She acknowledges the crowd. Collingwood lead it by a goal. She did really well there and gets the reward. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Collingwood leading the inside 50s, and right now that's converting into scores. She gains the possession. She's got the footy in her hands. Kirk charges with intent, contests the hard ball, lobs the handball. Ends up marking uncontested. Nails the goal. Rankin with a second goal. She loved that one. The scores are tied. The game is back underway. Thrashes it. Is in her possession. Fights the good fight. Keeps it moving. Gourlay just dismisses Darby. Gourlay gurns a free kick. Moves the ball by foot. And the mark will be paid. Livingston puts it on the boot. Marks that ball uncontested. Decides to kick. Here's a chance for Roberts. Big kick required from this distance. Davy going for number one. Cleverly soccers it off the ground for a goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood by a goal. Center bounce. High thumps it forward. Lynch slams it onto the boot. Dargan marks in a bit of space. Uses it now. Great mark in the pack. Move it on. Going for goal number one. She's put it through. Grant celebrating hard. Two goal lead for Collingwood. Back in the middle to resume play. Geelong trailing by 12 at halftime. Collingwood have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Anything you can see, Gary? When you're able to convert in front of goal like Collingwood, Cav, it's difficult to see you behind on too many occasions. Thanks for that. We're halfway through this match and things are getting interesting. A big second half about to begin. Umpire ready to resume play. Thump clear. Davy with the ball. Boy unable to lay the tackle. Couldn't quite with the mark. Show some physicality. Hit the man hard. The loose ball scooped up. Now we will get a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Lambert won herself a free. Brown wins the marking contest. Brown tucks it into the pocket. McWeird marks uncontested. Looks to move it by foot. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Ball picked up. Dargan couldn't stick the tackle on. McDonald couldn't complete the mark. Hickey running off for a break. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Hammers it. Used the hands and gives away the free. Puts it on the boot. They chase after the loose ball. Brazil gathers it now. Going for goal number one. Skinner just offline for a minor score. Just under two goals the difference now. Gets into a good position to take that. Elects to kick. Livingston couldn't hang on to the ball. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. She just can't seem to get into the game. Rankin gives away a free for in the back. Kick by Porter. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Webster drives the kick. Slicer has it. With a driving kick. Garner struggling to run at the moment. A chance here to convert for Geelong. Rankin elects to kick. 
I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. Just gave it away. Derby gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. Might be too far out to score. Bit of an angle for this kick. Can't take the mark. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Slams it onto the boot. Needs a bit of a rest. Puts it into space. Going for goal number one. Drop punt. Finds its way home from Dagen. Pretty happy with that one. That's three in a row for the Magpies. The lead is now 17. Goes off the ground. Brown plays the tackle. Great attack on the ball carrier. Sweeping handball from Kiyochi. Kept her head and kicked the goal. That's worthy of celebration. Of course, Hunter. That's her second. They increase their lead. This is how they can score big, Hunter. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Collingwood are taking their chances in front of goal. We say it so often, but when you do the simple things right, it goes a long way towards winning. Alexander spills it. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Yeah, she's having a quiet match, Hutto. Finding the ball with ease. Rankin now heading off to the bench for a break. And the umpire will ball it up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Skinner uses the bump. Just dismisses her opponent. Ball gets cut off. Hits the target by hand. She's got the football now. Going for goal number one. A great goal! She loved that one. Geelong close the gap to 17. Back in the middle now. Hine just swats it away. Gets the handball away. Putting her skills on display. Hine just threw it. Uses it by foot. Finds it in motion. The Magpies just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Clark goes with the kick. A chance to reap. As we go into the final change, the scores are Collingwood 43, Geelong 26. A big final term coming up. Collingwood believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? It's quite simple. Collingwood won more of the ball and they've been able to create more opportunities in front of goal. Thank you very much, Gaz. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Thumps it clear. McDonald with a penetrating handball. She looks like she needs a spell. A strong mark in the pack from Giochi. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Brings it out of the pack. Good grab there from Cranston. 45 metres out. About to take the kick. Slide angle. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. Gets some reward for her efforts. That's two in a row for Geelong. The Cats now only trail by 11. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Soccer's a kick. Ball up called. 
Boyd hurls it away. She drives it towards goal. Just two goals in it. Looking to bring it back into play. Rogue needs to live. She needs to find a way into this game. Shevlin contests the hard ball. Hits her hard. Charges with intent. Picked off the deck. Gathered by Vander Heuvel. Does well to cut off the kick. The kick from Porter. Hines, it's in a good position. Puts boot to ball. Davy marks in a bit of space. Takes the mark. Porter has resources out wide. She's in charge of the ranking points. She's on fire at the moment. Gourlay with quick hands. That was a sloppy handball. The loose ball scooped up. Chose to kick it. It's marked by Morrison. Puts boot to ball. Garner presents and takes the mark. Garner has resources out wide. Darby just gets a boot to it. The kick connects with the post. Geelong behind by nine. Searching for a teammate. Lambert with a short hand pass. She gets her hands on the footy. Intercepts the ball very well. Stabs at the kick. Van der Heuvel takes a strong mark. Moves the ball by foot. Takes that one strongly. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Just hits the post and a minor score. Geelong reduced the margin. Porter looking for options now. Good mark there. Moves it by foot. Gourlay takes the mark. It's a very tight game right now. Punches it clear. Has it now. Has to do better in that mark contest. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Cranston getting the crowd involved. Geelong reduced the margin. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Movement by hand. Goes by hand to Hines. Cranston. Red at best. At full stride. Receives the handball. Marks in a bit of space. Going for goal number one. The drop part sails between the big sticks. They get around her after that effort. It's on again as Geelong take back the lead. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. That's a really good team goal. One thing Geelong are really good at is getting the ball inside 50 and then locking it in. They're well on top in that area and it shows on the scoreboard. Clear free, just put both hands in the back. Hines moves it now. Collingwood threw everything at them, but they couldn't get over the line. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? I can't think of much to say, Hutto. That was one of the best games I've ever seen. At the end of the match, Geelong defeated Collingwood 47 to 43.
Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. It was great being here, Hutto. I can't wait for the next match.